This is Solaris Nights with your host, William Double Double. The Solaris Open continues as fresh talent from across the inner sphere compete for a spot to take a class ranking. Produced by Donegal Broadcasting Company, the most trusted news in the Lyran Commonwealth. So, Cosmo, normally I'd come in here being all William Wyndham Williamson the third doctorate of uh of a uh, musical theory but there is extenuating circumstances before your interview two days before your interview you receive a invitation with a logo that looks like the following i'm going to send it to you on discord okay <laughs> First thing I see is Gleemo's hype, and I was like, oh, that looks familiar, okay. <laughs> okay. So the invitation is to come out to one of their factories out on western, the western part of the continent. I do hope this is another dinner for one situation. Do you say that to the piece up. of paper that you're, <laughs> you're looking at? His, his thoughts, you know, thinking okay. out loud. Last time he got something like this, he ended up going to a pl fancy place for dinner by himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he will uh, now totally accept the invitation. Okay. Uh, they bring you out to one of their uh, factories, and they provide you with a patch with their company logo, Fulcher Industries, on it to put on your suit. Uh, while you are being chauffeured there in their private SUV fleet, they, you get an email indicating that a uh, an investor has put you up in a hotel room, uh, and you're out of the barracks now. Uh, roughly at the same time, you get an email from Fulcher Industries at Fulcher Industries dot uh, <laughs> indicating that they hope that you'll enjoy your new hotel room. This is very kind. Uh, I must I must meet whoever this is this investor. Continue to win on behalf of the investors and more rewards will be forthcoming. Sounds easy enough. Losing is not in my blood. All right. So they bring you into tour the facilities. You meet a bunch of mech techs. They walk you through how they could future improve your uh, FS9K fire starter. Uh, a lot of the techs want you to sign hats, Fulcher Industries t-shirts, uh, their favorite mech parts. Like if you could just put your put your John Hancock on a couple pieces here, you know, they'll be able to sell the mech for a little bit more. You know, get an extra 10,000 C-bills out of it. Yeah, so Cosmo is 100% living this up. So he's only been in two battles, didn't really know what fame was like. And he thinks like, he's like in his head, he's like, I'm in, this is it. And so he's 100% living it up, giving them whatever they want. Whatever yeah, there's they only need. about 20 employees, just to be clear. <laughs> Still, he thinks this is it. <laughs> uh, but they, they have a tradition. They bring you out back. It looks like they've got a bunch of tandoori grills and they've got... You know, like chicken tiki masala, lots of naan bread, a wide variety of soups and lentils, a huge assortment of grilled vegetables, and everybody's just like grabbing stuff in the naan, just stuffing it in there, making like a little naan pita and just chowing down on food. Yeah, you'll you'll notice Cosmo will uh he'll chow down as well, but he might avoid some of the vegetables. He just he's like a he's bit like a carnivore basically. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I told my mom when I was a kid. I told her I was a <laughs> She literally has never let me forget. <clears throat> no, but right. he's uh he's loving every minute of this for sure. Uh yeah, so just to be clear, you're not like at the highest level of fame no, no, right no. here. But you're you're like the person who's famously local in town and gets their one day banner parade and shakes hand with the car dealership people and it's yeah. a big deal in the newspaper for a full week yeah but, but i mean to cosmo <laughs> though that is yeah that to cosmo, is this is the greatest day of his life yes. Yes. it's like the day that i got to play among us with jesse cox yeah 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 don't worry, i don't i don't <laughs> this is this is that day 
uh, two days later, you find yourself in a very tense interview with William Wyndham Williamson, William Double Double. Uh, even the crew is somber. Your makeup artist is quiet as he affixes your makeup to your face. And when the interview begins, William says, Mr. Cosmo, thank you for returning with us. Double Double. I know that the events of yesterday have been a shock to us all. Uh, awful. Terrible. Not worthy of the time on the holoscopes. People have said a lot about Apex Dragon's performance in yesterday's battle, which was not just a guarantee of victory for their chosen ranker, but also a guarantee that the stable would win all of its matches. Your reputation has suffered quite a hit. Do you have any comment on behalf of yourself and your stable as to what happened there? Let's be clear. Yesterday was a series of unfortunate events for Hunter McGregor. He suffered many criticals in what was otherwise a pristine mech. There is some things luck cannot, you cannot control, but with luck. You know what I try to say. However, there are some people that were saying this was a technical issue, that his front plates were put on incorrectly, and that a small pellet was able to get in through slow motion recap confirms that there was a buckling issue. Are you suggesting sabotage from within our stable? I am not suggesting anything, but sabotage, incompetence, these are words that are being thrown around. Understand, I'm not a reporter. I am an interviewer. And I am also uh, you are not... more than that. I think, well, I am a, uh, a doctor, of course. Um, yes. I don't understand the technicalities of the mech combats. We have people on staff here for shows like Mech Talk who can explain this better than I. But do you think this was an inside job? Or is it truly just bad luck? I believe it is just bad luck. However, I will say if this was an inside job, we stablemates support each other. And we will find whoever the culprit is. And they will pay. Okay, interesting. It's hard to know where to go from there. It's It's been a difficult time for your stable, and, well, maybe a difficult time for all of us. That kind of loss is one that can end someone's career. He is quite wounded, but if I know Hunter McGregor, he will be back. With a vengeance. You are guaranteeing his return. Are you suggesting more sabotage in his recovery? I just want to know that the stable isn't going to abandon him after what happened. You're saying reports are good mm. from the inside. I'm saying he will recover. Whether he chooses to come back is up to him, but I imagine he will be back. If he so chooses not to come back, it would be his choice, not because we forced him out. So William adjusts his cufflinks and says, let's turn to a different topic. You seem to have gained a rather small fandom for yourself, Mr. Cosmo. I understand that your fan group has proclaimed themselves the Green Horde, and you've repainted your mech as you've customized it. The flamers on it are now green. Everyone's going around screaming, green flame. Can you tell me how this happened? Where did the legend of Green Cosmo come from? Ah, now see, this was a technical issue. My vid screens in the last match, they turned green. Everything had a green tint. However, I am more surprised than anyone after my last uh, uh, performance that I have a following. Especially after the tips that Seabill and Knockout gave us. You know, I felt I did not do a very good job with that. Well, I but understand I you have uh, taken up the kind of Team Minxville uh, forward presence. You yes, recently I... performed at, uh, at a corporate event with uh, Fulcher Industries, I understand. Yes, this, this is true. I was, 
I was invited to their facilities, and they are great people. I am very happy to be a part of them and at that all. So between uh, your interview, he, like, gestures, and the wall, which is entirely holographic, displays a, a picture of you with a huge smile stuffing. It's not a very flattering picture, like, stuffing <laughs> chicken tiki masala on a non-red nice. in your face, but you're smiling when it happens. People are around you are giving you thumbs up. Everybody looks happy. That, and that's probably what Cosmo would point out. Ah, see, everyone is happy here. This is why I'm glad to be a pot. And he throws the um, the patch, like, in a very visible location on the front. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Fultra Industries has your full support, then, I see. Of course. And, yes. What do you have to say about your opponent, Playmaker? He, in a previous match with one of your stable mates... Uh, was almost totally knocked out of battle, possibly almost killed, and as a result of his no surrender bond, even lost his job. Now he's come out of nowhere with a mysterious funding and a entirely new clan, Omnimech, I believe they're called. Yes, uh, I I have read about the playmaker from his previous battle, and I must say. For one who does not talk, he took it very far to the end if he almost died, without saying anything. However, I'm, I uh, I am most interested in his new machine. My my motto, as you heard in the last fight, was, it is hard to hit which you cannot see. I feel like I will be the one struggling to see him in this battle. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about your new machine? You seem to have customized it with some equipment I'm not familiar with. Ah, yes. I am planning for the future. I was kind enough for an investor to give me funding for a C3 computer. Now, in this battle, I will not be able to take advantage of its benefits. But in the future, I think I will teach everyone a trick or two. It will allow me to network better. I see. So you anticipate... And he's, like, flipping through um, pages on, like, an e-reader. You anticipate participating in lance battles in the future? Well, yes, I do. Okay. Now, what do you have to say about your opponent's mech? Obviously, there's a very serious disparity in firepower between the two of you, but you truly hold the edge in long-range combat, given the extremely low armor rating. Yes, it is, uh... <laughs> It is a mech design I'm unfamiliar with as I, I try to learn more about the clans, but, uh, you know, Warpig does not like to communicate with many of us in our stable, so it is hard to learn. And he certainly doesn't let us go anywhere near his stable, even though, or his, his mech bay. But from what I have gathered, the clan technology does seem to offer advantages. And in this case, the dasher is quite fast. So I will have a hard time hitting it. But if I do hit it, Game over. Now your your enemy pilot, or I should say your competitor playmaker, is well known for his jumping abilities. I don't believe this met mounts any jump jets. Ah, it sounds like a mistake on his part then. How do you anticipate he might incorporate that into his strategy? Uh, at this point, do I know where we're, we're playing? Do I know uh, the arena? Yes, the troll on race. Well, for a, a an arena as this, jumping will be crucial. So the only logical conclusion is he must run very fast. But I do not believe he can escape from my sights too easily in this map. I have, I have good maneuverability as well. And of course, I actually can jump. How would you rate your odds? Uh, is victory an odd? <laughs> so you're willing to guarantee victory here? Why, yes. Don't I every time? Very well. Anything else you'd like to say before we head down to the battlefield? I would like to know, did my opponent say anything this time, or is he still silent? I think you know the answer to that question. That is what I figured. So I think William does like a swivel turn in his chair as the lights come down and the studio stops broadcasting. Uh, we do cut later to your mech coming through one of the mech gates and on the holographic screens around you, you can see that something is happening and you're, you get a transmission 
from a news helicopter nearby that's, you know, one of the media cameras. As Playmaker is about to mount his mech, he instead removes his mask and t picks up a microphone. So he looks like um, a Latino man, kind of short, maybe what you would call squat. Someone has definitely broken his nose. Um, not eat, not recently, like it's been set poorly in the past. Uh, he's, his face is covered with a number of scars that again, do not seem to be uh, recent. And when he talks, there is almost certainly some sort of damage to either his tongue or his cheek or chin that is preventing him from speaking clearly. Uh, but he says in very broken English, my competitor, Apex Dragon, paid for hospital bill. Much appreciation. When stable abandoned me, they help. Good fight. And people everywhere are just in shock. Some people are just like, what's going on? I thought this guy never talked. And somebody's like, I've never even seen his face before. Look at that boy. He's, he's seen a my bit of combat. Uh, he doesn't put the mask back on, but he does, like, drop the microphone and begin ascending up the side of his dasher. Uh, am I already on the battlefield? Have my entrance already happened? Or... You tell me. If you want to have your entrance down, now's the time. I mean, certainly, I mean... certainly the crowd has wound up for something dramatic. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to top what Gleemo did yesterday, but... <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, Cosmo will do his usual entrance to Duhast. As soon as the base drops, he'll do the cane entrance and flames will go out and he'll jet out. And he'll probably he'll probably get a little excited to do the, like, the landing with the slide like he did last time with the ferryman. And then he'll realize that there is no ferryman, it's just him. And so he'll, <laughs> he'll probably do like the, the pointing gun thing and then be like, oh wait, never mind. <laughs> so you, you went through it like you uh, had planned it, but then you realized that... <laughs> Yeah. Your partner wasn't there anymore. Yeah, it's pretty fitting for Cosmo. I think it's it's probably really obvious. <laughs> That's what happened to everybody. Uh, that you only know one entrance. Yep. And then uh, I'd probably broadcast uh, just directly to Playmaker uh, Udachi, which is good, uh, good luck. Okay, he doesn't speak Russian, so... <laughs> Um, I need to quickly redo the armor pips on my thingy. If I was smart, I would have been doing this the whole time. It's okay. I'm going to go over and I'm going to turn on the breaking news. This is a Donegal Broadcasting Company news alert. Any final thoughts before we get this whole battle kicked off when we roll initiative? Um... I have a commando. I need a fire starter. <laughs> what? Isn't that your? Oh, you want the fire starter token? Yeah, that probably. Oh, would I mean, be a good if idea. you want me to use the commando. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. You're totally right. I just, what one would call, made a mistake. Okay. Oh, he's all over the place. Just watching me type incorrectly um i think i have to pull up my sheet i can't tell what the inner structure numbers are first what is it? magnify is that it those might be eights pull up my sheet that's a good call We were not as prepared for this as some of our other battles. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there you go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and roll for my initiative. Arms are six. Everything else is... Eight. Eleven. Wow, that's good stuff. Uh, even if I could hack, I doubt I'd beat that. Listen to this guy. Uh, Hacking. Cheating. <laughs> Cosmo cheating. It's only cheating if you get caught. Oh no. <laughs> uh, these are eight and these are eight. Eight, eight, six, eight. Okay, uh, I think 
make all the armors right. Okay. Your legs have so much armor compared to mine. Unbelievable. This is advantage of not being in the 20 pound. I don't know. Something really fast. <laughs> 20 ton cheetah. Oh, so that means I deploy first. Uh, yep. So we have to, oh, sorry, we have to decide edges. And I'm going to decide to go left to right. You pick. You go left, I go right. You, well, you can pick whichever side you want to deploy on. I'm just saying we're doing it horizontally rather than vertically. Might I suggest you start right there? <laughs> With no jump jets. Mm -hmm. Listen, we already did this one, okay? Yes, we did. <laughs> we made this joke before. We have fan art of it. Um, I will be... I'll start there. God, that was a long time ago. <laughs> so Prone old stuff. now. I'm so, so old and withered. The days have passed me long by. I remember a time when I was good at Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I remember it well. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Man, clan range is ridiculous. Your ER mediums are almost the same as my large. Uh, I'm not gonna want it there. Um, how, how, so how do you want to, is, are you treating this rubble as? Treating a uh, rubble as plus one to move plus through. One. Okay. Some people treat it as rebel, others treat it as a um, rough terrain with the pilot skill. So I just wanted to make sure. We're going to treat it as plus one for now. That's good. Piloting skills have not gone so well for... <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go for match initiative for round one. 11 again. Six. Go ahead, make your move, cowboy. Probably go to anywhere on the map you wanted. Off that one. <clears throat> I'll jump to here. That facing our right direction. There we go. Eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's insane. Gets me here. <laughs> um, before I move, I'm gonna check to see if I can activate mass. So no double one. I'm good. So I will go sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. <sighs> good enough. Off by one. <laughs> yeah, but it is going to give me um, 17, 16 or 17 movement, which is a plus. Which is covered by the, four. <laughs> the thing. It's a plus four. It's got to be. Okay. Uh, well, and more insane. importantly, you're going to have to make some twisty motions to get me over here. Uh, you did go to my right side, which is where my large laser is, I believe. That's yeah. fine. I'm going to alpha strike. <laughs> that makes sense. Yep. Uh, I just want to make sure your left side stuff can't get to me and then I can concentrate all my fire in one location I was really hoping that location would be the back, but you chose correctly. I Almost didn't rotate either. Here we go. One round of shooting. We're just gonna kill each other <laughs> one go real quick <laughs> I mean I, I can't hit you with my torsos, right? If I torso twist here, you're my front arc and torsos I believe so. Yeah. So, yeah Yeah All right, um, well Range is moot in this combat, so it's the same number for everything. Okay. Oh, uh, I should be noted first. that when he approaches you, you've probably never seen a mech move this fast. Especially oh, yeah. with the arms up like this, it literally just dashes in towards you at an insane speed and just teleports behind you. You're like, what the fuck? I feel like this is, uh, <laughs> not to make a sports analogy, but it's like when you go from, you know, people say you go from college to the pros, you're just like, holy shit, this is a different level of fast. <laughs> 
This is certainly a 10 second car. Yeah, Cosmo's trying to look, but, but how do you. Okay then, we fight. <laughs> yeah, if only you were here and I could kick, that would have been great. <laughs> okay. I think um, you'll know what I specifically did not want to end up in front of you. Yep. Um, so do you want me to go first? Please do. Alright, so base go ahead, three, get the jump large for laser six. headshot in the fight in one go. <laughs> uh, so I base at three, jump for six. Uh, you move for forward, brings it to 10, range is zero, and there are no other factors. So I need tens for three small lasers, a flamer, and an ER large laser. Oh, shit. That's really hard. First, first will be uh, an ER large laser, need a 10. Oh, oh boy. That must, that must pain you. It comes so close and yet not achieve victory. <laughs> That is that is very close. Um, yeah, that sucks. Uh, let's do small laser number one. Small laser number two. Small laser number three. And flamer. As expected. All right. And I actually do think I build heat. But I'll do that after. I'm going to alpha strike. So it's... Um... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to hit you. I'll do ER, ER, six, four. That'll do it. Uh, ER medium to your right arm. Or but that's not what we want to see. Are they seven, seven damage? Yeah. Okay. No. The six will hit. Thank you for a little cluster. Three <clears throat> missiles will hit. It's First not that one bad. is left leg. Got it. Center torso. Oh my apologies. Ooh, uh, I'm you're on, hitting a. I'm you're on hitting your my side. Right side. Yeah. So. Sorry, we have to reverse real quick. Um, the first well, hit was where? Right arm? The right arm was the laser, or seven laser. And yeah. I'm on your right side, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's the right, was a four? Right arm again, it's still right arm. The second oh. one will instead be your right torso. Oh, that's a big change from left leg, okay. And the third one is right torso torso again okay well that's not i mean that makes sense you're on the right side you're hitting more <laughs> third missile is center torso through armor critical with two criticals well that's not good yeah. Ugh. so it's the glimo curse we joked about it but it's real it it's three real five. three five it's your c3 computer oh no sorry it's a gyro it's a gyro, it's a gyro. go ahead and wreck that bad boy off Oh uh, no, the Glebo curse is real! Yeah, number five. And man, if you hit another gyro now, the match is immediately over. <laughs> the Glebo curse. You, you got two crits. It's real. It's the vengeful spirit of... It would have been smart of me to use my edge, but I will not. 3-1 is a fusion engine, so that's not as bad for you, but of course, any sort of hits down there are pretty I mean, good. Everything's pretty bad now. Okay. I think, uh, engine gyro, that affects jumping and running, I'm pretty sure. Yes. So, that's... My mobility is shit now with, with someone who can run circles around me. The last uh, missile pack misses. Um, I need to make a pilot scroll. I build five points of heat, which affects my running speed. But yeah, you need to stay standing. What's your piloting huge. skill? Gyro is uh, a four. plus three. So I need a seven. Yep. Oh, oh no! It's the Glebo curse! It's real! It's no, real! Seriously. It's real! Is, I told you it's bad. real! This is bad. Um, okay, so 1d6. 4. 
Does that mean I spin around? Uh, let's open Total Warfare to page 68. The following rules. The only thing I know the page. Yep, you take all your hits on your rear too, oh, this which is ain't good. that bad because your mech is kind of light. Uh, you'll only take four points of damage to your rear left torso. Four? Like, yeah, it'll go like, in. It's internal. Oh boy, this is this is a horrible opening round. Okay. Um, was there a crit? Or do you roll the crit? There I roll the crit because no I did it no to crit, myself. No crit. No crit. Oh, okay. I will, It's a four on the. Dice. Oh, you did no it already. Crit. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, Let's see. You need I to make another piloting skill check to not for, take mega oh, yeah. warrior damage from the fall. Which is, I need a seven. Yep. Okay, we're good there. The Gleemo curse is broken. <laughs> now uh, I jumped six, and then I alpha striked for 18. 18 and six is 24, but I lost an engine. 24 plus five is 29 minus 20. I'm at nine heat. That sucks. This is this is a problem. <clears throat> the engine affects this round, right? I'm not. It's not next round. Um. I think so, yes. It affects the phase that it happens in, so yeah. <clears throat> oh boy. That's good for you. Yeah, um, if I don't win initiative, I am effed. <laughs> as, as initiative is getting rolled, uh, Playmaker turns his guns, gun arms and points them straight up, indicating he's not going to shoot at you this round. Now, you could oh, always betray me. that trust and still shoot him as you stand up. He's letting me get up. Yes. Yeah. Seems like it. Eight. Okay, you're still moving first. Now I get a two on the location. Um, oh, you're so bitter about that. <laughs> well, it's not like I hit anyways. Um, okay, I will declare You have to choose whether run. you walk or run. All right, you're committing. And now, your uh, movement points are greatly reduced, right? Because... Um, the gyro? No, for your heat. Oh, it's just by one. So you're I'm now at... a five, seven? Uh, yes. So okay. I committed to seven. So you can try to get up four times maximum. Because uh, it takes okay. two movement points to stand up, and every failure is another fall. Yep. I need uh, a it's seven. still seven to get up. Perfect. Got it. You're up. The Glamo curse is broken. We've banished it. Okay, so I'm standing. That's two points. You could choose which direction you want to face. Um, let's not face the rebel that will cost a lot to move through. I need something where he can't get behind me, <laughs> so like a tall wall will do. Um, wow, that drop height's really high. Let's change that. Okay, so that was two, three, four, five, six, and I could do seven. Sure. I am fully trusting. When he put his hands, although his mech's arms are already up. I may have just been duped by the mech design. <laughs> his arms are already in the air. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to trust he ain't going to shoot me in the back. Otherwise, okay. I wouldn't have moved there at all. Red. I'm a 913 uh, right now, I think. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9... And I'm going to stop with that walk. Wow. No trust. He didn't think I was going to shoot him. All right. Well, um, I now sink less heat. So. I cool off. Um. Oh, shoot. Can I not run with a hurt gyro? Or is it just jumping? You can run. I don't think your jump is affected by your gyro. I thought it was uh, when you land or something. Mech jumped with damaged gyro per pre-existing damage. Oh, yeah, you'll have to make a plus three gyro hit when you land. Oh, Jesus, okay. Wow, I've literally never even seen that rule. Of course, I guess normally in a time of Total Warfare when gyros got damaged, the person was basically dead anyway. So well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, <laughs> really, they've had four plus mech shooting at them. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. That's that's tough. Okay. All right. Let's remove our movement dice. 
Wait, no, even right here too. Mech ran with a damaged hip or gyro. <laughs> and I just ran with a damaged gyro. Okay. Well, you'll need to make a seven. Uh, gotta do another seven. Seven's the magic number today. You're good. Okay. Nice. I wonder where I would have fallen though. That's You're okay. Like, We're fine. Uh, 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 <laughs> your mech is like it's like it's almost like you're limping on two legs as your damaged gyro is refusing to get your neuro inputs correct and yes. your head is yeah. pounding you're like Argh! yeah that, that feels about right i really really need to win initiative seven. Oh, seven oh, <laughs> no um that there's really no painful. place i can go Can you 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 could probably fucking make it like right to here <laughs> just look at me um screw it jump to here looking that way Fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Hmm. How many? That's probably going to be ten to seventeen. That's insane. That's rough. You do have to make a pretty crazy gyro jump hit first yes. before yeah, you. Yeah, I'll do that down. now. Oh boy, buddy! Look, it's, it's, the curse is broken. He used to live dangerously sometimes I'm until it doesn't. Activate mass. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. What, I what actually happens if it too. fails? Does it... Uh, my legs lock up and the match is over. Ah, oh, that would have been nice if you do it right in front of me. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, Nineteen twenty, and torso twist to face you with center torso armament. Yep. Uh, hexes hexes. Is gonna I'll be assume it's another plus four. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. is going to be plus four. This is like the first time I got to use a clan mech on uh, Time of Total Warfare at the end of Season 1. Where I was, they were like, we're used to moving 4 or 6. And I was like, I moved 20 hexes this round. Yeah. <laughs> they were uh, like, I think, what? Wasn't that the same match? And you're like, um, I have two ERP or P PPCs too. Yeah. <laughs> and I do 15 damage <laughs> each. <laughs> oh, man. So the best part was that only half the cast had ever played anything clan. So the rest of yeah. them had no idea what was about to happen. <clears throat> Boy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a 10 again. Um, except you're actually at <laughs> you're actually at medium range for the flamer and small lasers. I, I wanted to stay so, away. So that's... Uh, oh yeah, I, couldn't, I don't think you could have got here if you wanted, but... Uh, I could have run right up to the base. Six for I could have up here. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought yeah. you meant crawling up for some reason. Oh, no. no, no, no. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to go up there. <laughs> I do. Fuck you, come down here. <laughs> Uh, three, six for jump, ten for my EO large laser, and uh, twelve for every for everything else. But uh, I'm gonna generate a lot more heat, so I'm only gonna shoot the ER large laser. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and look at those crits. <laughs> That's not so good. Uh, right. Center torso? No, because you're on one of my sides, right? You're on my uh, right side. So this is your front? Yeah, so I'm on your right side. Okay, so right side hit for how much damage? Uh, is it nine? Nope, eight. Eight damage. Oh, whew. Yikes. Okay, so that almost completely blows the right arm and torso off, but I survive. Instead, I take two internal crits, which ain't so good. 
Give me that ammo. <laughs> five, three. So Wait, I just do, uh, just one, do one. So I'll just do five and three. Uh, double heat sink and SRM four are gone. Man, I needed, I needed that. I heard, uh, I don't know if the end of the you guys were asking how to shrink the pen size. You could just hit the minus button. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. That, this is perfectly sized for right now. All right, so yeah, that's good. Um, minus two. And at the end of the round, my SRM4 is gone. But that's okay, because I was going to fire it anyway. Yeah, I'm an alpha strike. Makes sense. Uh, I, I need would too. nines to hit, because I'm four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and everything's in short range. So medium one and a nine. That is eight. That is also an 8. SRM 6. 8. Oh my lord. SRM 4 was a 9 on its way out. It says it's a 6. It does. Uh, 6 Ooh, on a six. 4 pack is 2 missiles hit. Um, am I facing to you is your front arc. Please, no, through it. Right arm? Right arm? Or right two? arm. Got it. Left arm for two. Got it. Okay, it was a rough round for me. No, I that was left an arm. that that almost evens it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm right. gonna get there and I'm done. Uh, uh, I built five heat again. I'm for six and I fired this for eighteen, but I only sank fifteen, so I built three. Damn that fucking engine hit sucks. What are you at again? Oh, what do you mean? I'm at three heat now. Ooh, yikes. That was um, just shooting, shooting one weapon, it, but jumping six. Oh, I'm actually so. at seven heat. That's right. Okay. Excellent. Good, good. good. Double ones. I saw one roll over for me. I was like, no. Thank God. All right. The tides are turning. There's no such thing as a Gleemo curse. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, man. 13. Only 7 hexes, so plus 3. Can I even. I'm I sure I hope not. <laughs> I was like, why do you need plus three if I can't cheat? But I guess uh, I haven't moved yet. Why don't you jump down here and make a gyro <laughs> roll and find out? Because I'm I'm quite sure, was this level five? Level five falling damage trying to jump down, that might hurt. <laughs> uh, balls. Gosh, we should have a space battle arena sometime. Can you imagine the charges and the pushes? It'll just it'll just be like a special one-time thing, right? Not like an official one, but like an exhibition Rumble match. In space. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like a King of the Hill match with the space objective, and you're just like DFAing or running across the map and punching people off, <laughs> throwing them into the vast <laughs> expanse of space. Is this your back? Yes, it is. I want to tempt you into jumping off, but also my back has more armor than my front right now. Oh, uh, Lord. Go big or go home. Is that a jump? It is. That should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't, in order to run there, uh, I don't think I could... <laughs> five to three, that's turn for... T no, there's no way. Yeah. All right. Make don't fail me now, pilot roll. Come on, seven. Yes! You made it down. But will you survive oh, this round? Jump die. Here we go. All right. Now, firing into my rear arc, I can do it with one of my arm-mounted weapons, right? One of my arms? You can use one arm, yep. Okay, I'm going to choose to do it with my left arm. Uh, that's a smart choice. I would do that, too. Yep. <laughs> uh, and in addition... Let me think. I take a plus two for shooting behind me? Uh, I didn't think that was a thing. I thought like shooting into your rear arc gave you a... There's, I mean, there's this over here. Secondary target is inside a rear arc. It's plus two. 
Okay. Well, you're not a secondary target. You're the primary target. I mean, I'll you could you that. could pull a you could pull a rad and shoot this rebel first as primary, and no, then... I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna shoot you directly. That makes sense. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I need nines because same as well, all the I'm other maps. Except... Because if... yeah, I I actually lost initiative for once. Yeah, I was. Uh, I thought you would still wanted to do the declaration phase, but oh yeah, yeah. well, whoa, 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 dude, listen. <laughs> I was, I was, when this show started, I was like, we'll do declaration again. And then I was like, well, it's one on one. It literally doesn't matter. It doesn't. Unless you shoot the rebel. <laughs> uh, ER medium laser is at you from the left arm. So four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. No. What are you shooting at? Uh, I need nines for my ER large laser and so two back armor. What do small lasers do? Three damage. You know, I didn't. I should have declared it before when I said I was declaring, but I didn't. Um, so I'll just do the small, the large laser. I should do the small lasers because I'd crit if they got through. But come on, nine. That is your nice. buddy. <laughs> Five. And look at that cluster roll. It's a right leg, so it's probably blown off. Yep. Uh, the leg is gone anyway. And one damage to the right torso, which blows the right torso and right arm off. Uh, and with that crit, it has a really good chance of setting off that ammo bin in the process. This is true. So oh, we might roll. have to we, we might have to pay to repair him again. Nope, that's it. Max done. <laughs> Ammo bends out. He takes two head damage. Then he's got to do the. He falls, so then he has to make the. Uh, I hope I don't. There's no way I can kill him. Damage. Oh. He takes way more than twenty points of damage. He takes hundreds of points of damage. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh my god. Yeah, he's back in the hospital. Is he even conscious at the end of the round? It's true. And would I would I know? Nope. Oh, yeah, he's conscious. Oh yeah, no, he's good. Yeah, but this is a career ending for him. That's it. Uh, in what is probably the fifth round. That's a fifth round knockout. As he thinks what that he's good, he fight. taunts you into jumping, knowing that it's going to be risky for you. You pull it off, and you just slice his leg off, destroying his mech totally. Uh, there is no one to take Playmaker off the field beyond the emergency medical techs who head out there to see how he is. Uh, his already scarred face and body have even more wounds as he has smashed his head on the console, and it's clear he suffered some sort of neurological damage from the feedback from uh, his, his ammo explosion going off. I'd... He just looks back at his smoking pile of a mech that probably he doesn't have the money to repair and knows that his career as a pilot is over. But he gives one last fist towards the sky, raises it, and turns and walks off the field as people slow clap. You'd hear, per usual, uh, Cosmo say, Nazdravya. I mean, toast to you. Um... Is there so when he you say he has no one other medical services like is he okay enough to get off the field on his own yes or like he, he could Apex only has, Dragons he has three, services help he has three um I mean last time an Apex Dragon investor asked me if they could pay for his medical services and they did yeah uh, even if you pay for his services now his mech is toast like it could conceivably be repaired but right. he has no investing left like he has no money. And he already has legal battles for surrendering. So his time yeah. as a mech warrior is over. Yeah, I think uh, Cosmo would just want to make sure, like, he like as he's he's trying to make sure he leaves with some respect. So, like, if he needs help getting off the field or trying to move the mech, he would offer whatever services Cosmo has from Apex Dragons okay. to also help get so the mech you're gonna and stuff off. So you're going to dispatch, like, the Apex Dragon assistant text to, like, get the mech moved and such. Yeah, just okay. to help him out because he's got nothing. So Yeah. All right, well, he just asked them kindly uh via written like on a tablet he just you know types it up if they could ship it to a certain warehouse that's his and uh, he'll just leave the mech there yeah you find yourself in an interview with william double double who says 
Fantastic showing today, Cosmo. You could barely keep your feet, and yet you ended a man's whole career. It was not my intent to end his career, but as I said, I don't lose. <laughs> you did indeed say that. Yes, and I, I wish to say that Playmaker was a very worthy opponent. He had me on the ropes in that first round, and it took everything I, I could muster to stay balanced, as you saw. It is but... as you have said. Luck does play a significant factor in these kinds of battles. It does. It does. Now, it looks like your mech will require some extremely serious repairs. However, you are yourself fairly skilled at, at repairing from what the rumors coming out of your stable are. Ah, yes. I've done a lot of the work for my mech on my own. It has saved uh, significant costs. Uh, however, it has only really been armor up until this point. Now, I must work on the gyro and the fusion engine, which are no small tasks. Each took a hit. So, the repairs may be more substantial than in previous rounds. I also would not mind getting a closer look at the Dash Earth to see some of that marvelous clan engineering tech. I know Playmaker may, may no, no longer have use for it, but I will keep in contact with him. Perhaps you could purchase the mech off of him. What a worthy last respect you could pay to another competitor. An excellent idea, William Double Double. I shall look into this. Now you have turned the reputation of Apex Dragons right back around after a somewhat disastrous battle. Hanging on by a thread, you may have inherited Playmaker's legacy of turning the battle around with a last second jump. Ah, you see, that was his problem. He didn't jump. William just gives you a very blank look. <laughs> Cosmo's very literal. <laughs> Uh, all right. Le do, uh, do you have anything you want to say to your investors, your fans, your fellow stablemates, or perhaps even to future opponents? Uh, I think that your fans will continue to see performances like this, no matter the odds and the circumstance from our stable, but for me in particular, and I appreciate, and I'll gesture to the patch, all the support that I have received so far, and I hope it continues. I am looking to improve, as you mentioned, I'm a mech tech. I'm looking to improve my combat abilities a bit more, add a little more flair to the fights, something of my own design. Okay. Uh, you will take one point of stress for participating in a match. You take one point of stress for guaranteeing victory. You playbook. gain an additional point of experience and glory and stress. So that's three stress, one experience, one glory. And then because you have a nice hotel room, you lose one point of stress. Or it should be said, you're shielded from it. Your hotel room is pretty nice. It's like a suite of three rooms and a kitchenette. Uh, it's not the only one on your floor, but the walls are soundproof enough that you can't hear it. Got a, a nice view of the skyline of Solaris City, uh, looking out over Silesia. And, uh, lots of Fulcher Industries merch everywhere. The blankets all have a giant Fulcher on them. Um... The table has like a Fulcher mug on it, Fulcher flower vases. They're <laughs> they're not subtle. <clears throat> and I, I, you know, I think Cosmo's perfectly fine with that, and he's loving every second of it. Um, and he'll just, you know, like, if he's carrying coffee around, it'll be in a Fulcher mug. <laughs> um, you also receive a uh, a picture from Playmaker. It is. A, a very wide shot of you getting out of your mech looking at him him getting out of his wreck looking at you and at the bottom it's signed friends to the end playmaker good to know it could could is there a possibility to possible for an investor to possibly bring him back in recruit him so, into our stable there is a expand the npc dorms 
<laughs> it requires four investors to invest two wealth, and each investor that does so can pick an NPC who is available or who they believe that they could lure over. So cool. Playmaker could return, but really only <clears throat> with Apex Dragons. Apex Dragons. Out. Yeah. Got it. Um, the... Uh, did you level get, up from ex- this? I did. That was what said. That was my sixth experience. Okay, so let's take a look at that because you're the first one to have done so. Uh, I have two glory and two stress. Let's look at the tech. So you get to choose a move. Do are both moves there? I haven't done two moves for everybody yet. Um, there's yeah. So there's only the dot hack net so far. The hacks, uh, which allows you to use your C3 to gain plus one initiative by pulling combat data from all of the computers in the arena. Technically illegal or cheating, but only if somebody notices. <laughs> and so we we don't know how that would happen yet until it happens next wave. <laughs> so, <clears throat> oh, uh, true. If, uh, this was wave threes. This yeah yeah wave three is the final play test. Right I, right. So just to to outline it. I, I've said it in various different places, places, but not comprehensively. At the end of wave three, I'm gonna sit down with everybody. It's it looks like almost everyone can make Thursday afternoon, so I'd like to sit the whole playtest down and get their their thoughts about how things went, how we could improve things, what they thought about the moves and the out of mech stuff and the interlocking storylines and that kind of thing, um, and then make my final decision on who the I think six is a pretty solid number of competitors to have moving forward uh, because that lets me do around three matches a week and then rotate through them every two weeks. I mean, you don't want to do five a week like this week? (laughs) And next week. (laughs) You're doing five next week too? Jesus Christ. And yesterday was my first uh, bi-weekly Star Wars game for uh, OnStreamed, and tonight is the first of Dinner in a Dungeon's Test. Oh my god. Wednesday is Raft, so Thursday is the first free night. But again, I still have a Battletech match that that day. Yeah, well, you know. So that's, what, nine games in five days? Assuming yep. you have two on Friday? Yeah. That's... So it's, it's a very <laughs> full dance card, but, you know, I've got the time. I'm fun employed until this COVID thing is over or I have a vaccine. One of the two. So, um... I should probably take a break after <laughs> what test wave three is over, though. Get some that's... sleep probably a good idea play more tony hawk pro skater 2 maybe get back to my my level when i was 16 instead of the level when i was 19 but uh, yeah any closing thoughts about this match because it was very different than the previous match um uh, very fast it all, comes, it all comes down to the the luck of the dice and um i know a few people may wonder why i didn't want to burn the edge on any of the earlier stuff but um I guess call it old school, but I I like keeping the RPG part separate from the tabletop combat part. So I, I only really plan to use my edge for uh, like entertainment roles or stuff like that. I don't think I'd use it in a battle. Um, speaking of, we do need to talk about what you do with your week. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a whole <laughs> a whole week's worth of stuff that you can do. I do. I have I have two stress. Um, you could should always... I wipe out the experience to add the. Move. Yes. Yep. 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 So the yeah. second time you level up, you'll get to choose whether you want to take a minus one to gunner air piloting, and the third time you'll you'll choose a new playbook. Yeah, totally picking hot dog. I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, with hot dog, you always guarantee victory every time. Yeah, that, that seems fitting for Cosmo. Um. So the efficient part of me wants to either go for more experience or stress, but I think. Cosmo needs a little help in terms of PR and or, or legal, depending how much crap is still happening with Knockout from last time. Yeah. Where, um, no, so I, you've not heard anything back from them about legal or, or PR. They have not made any comments toward Apex Dragons except to indicate that they had a frustrating but good match. That they did wish it hadn't ended on a technical uh, ending. <laughs> I, think, I think Cosmo would probably want to explore... Um, he'd probably want to explore PR options um, either for himself or for Apex Dragons either one but anything okay. that would make 
make Apex Dragons look a little better, or even just himself. He'd, he'd look for both. Okay. Roll 2d6 plus your corporate, because it sounds like you're otherwise extending your media influence. Oh, corporate. Goddamn, that's minus one. Okay. Yeah, talk to corporate. <laughs> uh, and this is, why, this is why I keep that edge. Oh, no. Four. Okay. Okay. Definitely, re-roll? definitely re-rolling that. I understand. Six. Company news Talks alert. fail. You cannot use this move again until you switch playbooks. Okay. So you're out there. You're trying to go on some talk shows. Maybe talk to some corporations, and no one outside your own investment group. Wants I, to- I'm imagining <laughs> while uh, while I'm trying to do that, there's like a TV in the background on all of them, and it's just showing Cosmo. Um, eating food at Fulcher factory <laughs> it's like if you shout really weirdly one time you lose your whole presidential run they just yeah. keep zooming in on your mouth as you're eating this and everybody's like he eats food really weird no one no one wants to be represented by this guy when's the last time he brushed his teeth <laughs> uh well you know i tried uh you did you did try and you did it on behalf of the stable too so hopefully the investors will appreciate your efforts <laughs> to we'll expand see. the influence <sighs> any closing closing thoughts nope i'm good hey this is listen, a lot of fun thank you for including uh, including me in the play test it was a lot of fun yeah yeah thank you for for coming i really yeah. appreciated you joining us and you know you joined us on overcooked so if people want to see yeah. more of you they can go watch the overcooked vods the amount of flack I've taken from my Pathfinder group for like in the first five seconds of joining your first match when I go over, get the chicken and go to cook it and just throw it over the wall. <laughs> like the first five seconds, immediately do the worst thing that you can't fix. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, but I I thought you really matched with us well. Once we got our rhythm together, we were doing really good. I'm, I'm excited to see how that uh, that game comes together. It's such a cool concept because I, I, Sidious and I both love the Monster Hunter series, and you're taking a little flavor of that. Oh, I it's absolutely cool. want to have the you hunt giant monsters, you cut them apart, and then yeah. you have a big festival when you cook them. Deal. Yeah. I don't know if oh, we're going to have you have to find the Mag- Zora Magdaros. <laughs> the sabotaging Zora the- Magdaros is critical to defeating it. <laughs> Just, just get the little cats to come around to help you, too, and you're good. <laughs> you know, I love cats. I love every type of cat. <laughs> Except <laughs> my cat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I paid extra to get the DLC handler in the cat suit. <laughs> and oh she, looks, she looks amazing because she still wears it in all the cinematics. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Oh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's buffoonery at the highest level. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for joining me, Dynamis. Have a good night, and have a good night, everybody at home. I'll see you guys later.